Well, hello there again. So let's just talk a little bit about week one of Making Math Marvelous. The whole goal to this week is to really have a very deep understanding about place value and the value of a number. The number seven in the ones column is very different from the number seven in the thousands column. And we want to, to make sure that we fully understand that and kind of manipulate it in many different ways. So one of the things that you can try is just making up any number. Think about, okay, it will be a two-digit number, a three-digit number, a four-digit number. And I know that we've already talked about the standard form, writing the number, expanding, expanded form, stretching out that number, but also, or word form, but also we want to make sure we understand the value of that number. So if the number is 700, we know that that's 7, is in the hundreds place. But that value of the number can be shown in many different ways. I might just simply say 700. I might say 100 plus 600. I can do this in various ways using addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. I can make a picture if I really felt like sitting there and drawing 700 things like donuts. The importance is that you understand the value of that number and can show it and understand it in different ways. With renaming, it becomes a little bit trickier because when we're stretching out that number, we're looking at each place in isolation. The thousands, how many are there? Well, if the number in that thousands column is five, there are five thousands or the number 5,000. But when we start to look at numbers, whether big or small, and we want to rename them into a particular place, hence place value, we want to think about, well, altogether, how many tens are there, hundreds are there, thousands on there. So again, follow through the slides to what we call use zero magic to help you picture in your mind the steps that you need to take to arrive at your answer by writing the number up to that place. So if it's renaming as hundreds, you're rewriting the number up to the hundreds and then you're stopping and using zero magic because hundreds translates to two zeros. We write the number up to the hundreds column and we make two zeros. There are several examples in the slides. And I'm explaining this a little bit further because once we start week two officially on Tuesday, we're going to take all of that knowledge, really mastering everything about place value, and we're going to start to think about it in other ways whether we're adding three-digit numbers, four-digit numbers, whether we're using decimals to add three-digit numbers, four-digit numbers, any numbers, whether we're using money, and we might be doing that as our hands-on activity, you want to fully understand and make those comparisons. Ones is pennies, tens is dimes. We have a decimal, and then we go into our whole numbers or dollars. There's a lot of different ways that explain the same value. Many, many different ways. So we want to focus on that and have a really deep understanding. So then when we do get to the other concepts that build upon that, it'll be easy peasy. So one of the things we will be doing and focusing on is going to be ordering numbers. So that is a big part of week two, ordering numbers. So keep in mind all the things that you've learned from week one about place value and use that knowledge to compare numbers and to put them in order. When you have a deep understanding of ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, it'll be easy to go even beyond that. It will also become easier to compare numbers what is greater than another number? What is less than another number? It'll be easy to put those numbers in order. So, okay, Math Masters, that's just a little bit of a glimpse 
into what you should be reviewing during week one. That's the beauty, or one of them, of a flex class. You can keep going back to your slides. You can keep going back to past videos. And I strongly encourage you to use the same mechanism, the same thing, every single time you do work for making math marvelous. You are using a notebook and that same notebook all of the time so that hopefully you are also re-reading those notes and looking at them over and over. So again, those are some tips for you. Message me at any time. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon.